Now, this is a very important topic in geometry mathematics. Try to understand uh, each and every point here. Uh, angles made by the transversal with two lines. First, you need to understand angle, which you are very familiar with, so I'm not going to explain that. And now here, I'm going to talk about the transversal line. What is transversal line? Okay. So, transversal line is that line which intersect two or more than two lines at different, different points. Like here is one line, here is another line, all right? So if a line is, uh, if a line is cancelling this both line, let's say this is line M and this is line N, and let's say this line L is intersecting M and N at two different points, this is point P1, and let's say this is point P2. So this line L is cancelling M and N at two different points, P1 and P2, that's why this is called, this line L is called transversal line, okay? And how are the angles formed when transversal line uh, intersect the two lines there might be three lines in uh, uh, there might be three lines there might be four lines you know so a, 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 a transversal can cut any number of lines but we are going to learn in two lines cases and what kind of angles are formed and what we give the name to those angles and when the two lines will be parallel there is a very special cases that we'll be discussing in the next video but here just I want to introduce the angles formed uh, due to the transversal when it intersect the two two lines okay so let's say uh, I have a line, let's say I have a line, this is this is one line and this is my another line. These are not parallel, right? And I have here a transversal line, say this is transversal line L. Okay, this is line, let's say uh, M, this is line N. And when a transversal line uh, intersect this, this two line M and N at let's say two point, let's say point P and let's say this is point Q, okay? And I'm, I'm supposing this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, let's say this is, uh, this is uh, E, and this is F, okay? When this line L intersect uh, line M and line N, then we get four here angles and four here angles, okay? So let's name the all angles. Let's say this is angle 1. This is angle 2, this is angle 3, this is angle 4. Similarly, let's say this is angle 5, this is angle 6, this is angle 7, this is angle 8. So there are 8 angles formed and I'm going to name those very nicely, try to understand. Here angle 1 and angle 5. Okay, keep in mind. Angle 1 and angle 5. Similarly, angle 6 and I'm talking about this angle 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 6 and angle 2 and angle 2 similarly angle angle uh, 7 and angle 3 similarly angle 8 and angle 4 are called corresponding angle are called corresponding angles in corresponding angles you'll find the angles one angle outside and one angle inside right inside the transversal and outside so it is outside and it is inside so that's why this is one and five similarly if you look here uh, in, uh, in six and two one will be outside on the same side right one is outside another is inside on the same side on the same this side all right uh, similarly we have seven and three if you see same side we are both seven angle also and three angles so on both side three is inside while seven is outside this angle this is inside right inside the two angles but the seven is outside similarly eight and four if you see uh, both are in the same side and eight is in inside while four is in outside okay so these angles are called corresponding angles if you just look here if it is one angle it is one angle then if you want to look at the corresponding angle then if it is angle one then this will be angle two so here angle one and angle two are corresponding angle similarly uh, if you don't want to draw there let's say you want to draw here then the corresponding angle will be here all right if you want to draw here then the corresponding angle will be here one outside another inside but on the same side okay so if you want to draw here, then it is outside, another should be inside in the same side. This will be corresponding angle. 
I hope you understand it. And now another angle, another type of the angle here uh, that is that is uh, alternate interior angle. Alternate interior angle. Alternate interior angle. Sometimes, uh, sometimes we say simply alternate angles also. So from the name itself, it is very clear. It is alternate, right? So on both side, here is one, and here is another one. So these both are alternate, and both are in the internal side of these two lines, right? Internal side. So this is also internally, and this is also internally. So this angle two, angle two, and angle eight. Angle two and angle eight is internal. In, uh, I mean alternate interior angle similarly angle 5 and angle 3 you know these two are alternate and interior so angle 5 and angle 3 both are alternate interior angles all right and the last one is called co interior angles or interior angles on the same side of the transversal interior angles on the same side of the transversal I mean to say this is my transversal line right so either this side or this side and both should be internal angles both should be internal angles means angle this and angle this so that is called co interior angle in short co interior angles so co interior angles represent here angle 2 all right and angle 5 similarly another we have angle 3 and angle 8 all right this 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 angle 8 angle 8 if you want to look co interior angles on, on a larger figure it is like this if this is my transversal then this angle and this angle are called co interior angles all right together in one side all right together inside in one side of the transversal and even inside both angle are formed in the inside so these are co interior angles similarly if you look in this side so this angle and this angle will be called co interior angles all right if you want to look the alternate interior angles then if this is two lines and if this uh, transversal is cancelling these two lines then one this side and another this side, this side. Or this side if this is one angle then another interior angle on alternate interior angle will be this one all right very simple if it is one this side another this side all right these are called alternate interior angles so you need to just learn uh, how is alternate interior angle how is corresponding angle and how is co interior angle and in next video we're going to learn a very very important topic of this entire geometry uh, how this uh, alternate interior angles are equal corresponding angles are equal and sum of the co interior angles is 180 if the two lines is parallel and a transversal line is cutting there. Alright, see you in the next video.